Twelve Dancing Princesses A long time ago, in a place not too far from here, there was a king who had twelve daughters. Each one was as beautiful as the next. The king worried about keeping his daughters safe, so at night he locked them together in their bedroom. But each morning he would discover their shoes worn through, as if they had been dancing all night long. The king proclaimed that if anyone could help him learn his daughter's secret, he would allow them to marry one of the princesses and one day become king. However, anyone who tried for three nights and failed would be banished from the kingdom forever. Many princes traveled from near and far to try to discover where the princesses would go. One after another tried, failed, and was banished. In a nearby village, a soldier was traveling to the castle to try his luck when he ran into an elderly woman who needed his help. The kind soldier helped the woman, and he explained his quest. The woman was grateful to the soldier, so she gave him some advice. Be careful not to drink anything the eldest princess brings you, she said as she handed him a worn cloak. When the time is right, put this on. It will make you invisible, and you can follow the princesses and learn their secret. The soldier thanked the woman and headed confidently for the castle. When the soldier entered the castle, he was escorted to a room where he could watch the princesses. That evening, the eldest princess brought him a goblet of juice. Remembering the woman's wise words, the soldier pretended to drink it but secretly poured it out. A short while later, he began to snore loudly, so that it seemed he was fast asleep. The twelve princesses then dressed in their most elegant gowns. When they were ready, the eldest sister went to her bed and knocked three times. The bed then moved to reveal a trap door, and the sisters began walking down the stairs one at a time. The soldier jumped from his bed, put on his cloak, and followed them. At the end of the stairs was an astonishing walkway set between rows of dazzling trees with leaves made of silver. The soldier broke some twigs from the trees to use as evidence for the king. Eventually, they came upon a lake where twelve boats were waiting. Each boat had a handsome prince ready to escort each of the princesses across the water. The soldier quietly slipped onto one of the boats. On the other side of the lake stood a beautiful castle. The princesses were greeted with joyful music, and each one began to dance with her prince. The soldier watched as they danced all night long. They only stopped when they realized they had danced holes in their shoes. The princes then rode the princesses back across the water, where they said farewell and promised to return the next night. Meanwhile, the soldier cleverly ran ahead and got back into bed before the princesses returned. The next evening, the soldier followed the princesses again. He returned the third night, and this time he took a goblet as another piece of evidence. Finally, the king called upon the soldier. Where do my daughters go at night to dance? he asked. The soldier told the king everything he had seen and showed him the twigs and the goblet. The king asked his daughters if this was true. Seeing there was no use denying it, the princesses admitted it was all true. With much gratitude, the king asked the soldier which of his daughters he would choose to be his wife. The soldier replied, I will marry your eldest daughter if she will have me. The eldest princess, realizing the soldier was a kind and clever man, said she would most certainly marry him, as long as he loved to dance. 
and after many nights spent dancing and falling in love, that is just what they did. The End